Hello loves and welcome back to yet another reality TV show review with me, Yolo Kazi Kagi. So on tonight's episode of Umnagwe, to which I do see it took everyone by surprise. By the way, you guys and a lot of viewers thoroughly enjoyed it, you guys. So Ukte Bimpilo Kanyili went on to the show to ask Ubabum Selego to please help him. <laughs> ask his first wife of the six years to take his girlfriend who he has been dating for three years as Useke wife. So Uli Hle, who is of course the potential wife, says that she's a very shy individual who was at first against dating married men. However, as the time went by and as Umi Kangile kept on pers persisting, she then finally agreed to dating him and it has been the most amazing and blissful relationship she has ever been in you guys. And she says that she's really proud of the decision she has uh, taken. She says she loves Umi Mr. Kangile mainly because he's a very transparent and honest person for the mere fact that he never ever hid his own wife. Furthermore, she loves a traditional Zulu men and the fact that she's never felt disrespected by Umiste Kangile because she's never heard him call his wife in front of her. So therefore, she's never had to feel like Kunomunye Umut or Kune first wife because I call that part of a jealousy in their relationship. So even when Ubabum Selegu met her for the very first time, he was quite impressed by her humbleness and said, wow, <laughs> he trusts that indeed Ulise will be a great second wife, you guys. So even when Umusam Selegu asked her the very hard question, which most side chicks in most cases fail to respond to, which is the very um, famous question of, will you agree? should Umiste Kangile want to take on a third wife you guys she responded by saying that she would not have a problem she's not here to stand in um, his way of you know growing Umdeni Wake because she wants to be accepted by the first wife Naye Angakona that is not her choice. She will, however, support Umiste Kanyile in any way, you guys. So finally, Umi Stem Slegu and uh, the husband walked in and I must say the first wife did uh, get the shock of her life because at this point she says that she wanted to cry because she never expected that her very own husband would want to take another wife. But at shame, I did see that she tried by all means to stay calm in the whole situation and uh, it actually turns out that the husband once came back with lipstick on his cheek and had lied that a guy had kissed him so the wife asked if is this the gay guy who kissed you once that you want to take as a second wife of waiter so at this point i did see Musa Mselegu. he was quite shocked by this revelation which team are you playing for because you are here to ask for you know a, a woman to be your second wife so what is this wife revealing to me however the husband shame tried to actually reassure the wife and umselego that no man on the day there was a lot of people at that place and a mistake happened it wasn't any of his intention that a guy kiss him on the cheek but so at that point he never lied to the wife about that situation which had happened you guys so he was actually really truthful that a gay guy did kiss him on the cheek so at this point then the husband pleads with his wife to please agree that you know he takes on the second wife however she just straight told him that she doesn't agree because there's just no peace in polygamy furthermore you guys there's always a fight and that you know it's not something that she she imagined herself to be in you guys and at this point she even is thinking
king of Uxia Yonke Indo, Avele Apume Kulum Shado Yugaz. She then asked if this person Amle Tayo is not a disrespectful person and Obaba responded by reassuring his wife that no akamazeli luto when it comes to being disrespectful. And then this second wife to be was then called in and the wife drilled her with so many questions, you guys. The first question she asked is Ukuti Yini Engaksi Zangayo. Then she responded by saying, I would like for us to be introduced to one another. She then asked, how long have you guys been dating for? Then the potential wife said that it has been three years. The first wife then asked, is this whole polygamy set up making you happy? Why do you want it so much? And so this potential wife says that it doesn't make her happy. However, settling down and getting married, it's something that she has been praying about. She then asked Guguti, what difference are you going to bring about Gulom Shado Weto? And that wife responded by saying that it's not much, but I will just follow in the footsteps of Ubaba Walai Kaya. She then asked Guguti, Mina kue nangi yini na? And she responded by saying, I was hoping for you to be Umam Kulu Wami. You guys, at this point, I think Umam Kulu was actually happy with the attitude that she was getting from the side chick and and she then asked if the side chick or the the potential wife will be able to respect her. And she responded by saying, yes, I will respect you. However, when Ozokwazi, you need to respect me. And the first wife responded by saying, most definitely, if you respect me, I will also respect you. So at this point, I must say that Ubabu Mseleg was quite impressed. This entire episode during that questioning session, he did not have to utter a word, you guys. And he did say that while he has never seen anything like this and that he really applauded Mr. Kangile for actually choosing Using someone as humble as Ulihe and believes that Bazo Patana Kahle is Tenjini Savo. You guys, so there you have it. With this update, please do share with me what your thoughts are on this episode. Like this video and also subscribe if you have not yet done so. And I will surely see you on my next upload. Bye.